this one I found a nice little picture on the site that changes I usually go to uh, so what I'm gonna do is put, use that picture okay good it's right and positioned and we're gonna talk about China there's the Xing dynasty the Tang dynasty the Han dynasty the Sui dynasty there's a lot of different dynasties to cover and well we'll start with the map here 560 CE 580 CE shows you the Sui dynasty right there this, that's the Tang dynasty 700 CE 9, 923 CE that's um, 1141 CE Jin Song Zi Zhu. That's the Yuan Dynasty 1294. That's the Ming Dynasty 1410. I'd always tell you about the Ming Dynasty. The Qing Dynasty 1892. Um, People's Republic, Republic of China. This is 1000 BCE Zhu Dynasty. 350 BC Qing. Okay. Um, 210 BC Qing Dynasty. 100 BCE Han Dynasty. 262 Wei Shu Wu. Those are the three kingdoms. Now, I'm going to start off with. Z dynasty in 2100 but it goes back as far as 10,000 BCE if you go with the Neolithic cultures and you even get a 7,000 BCE you get the Jahan culture but they don't have empires and advanced knowledge until after Egypt has its empires now okay, this is according to the historical records in the grand history in the bamboo annals and also history of China website history of the world website um, china.com I used to use, um, I even used Wikipedia for some of the information and some of the, okay, so I'll refresh my memory like I always do, you know. I always, before I give a video, I usually refresh, well not always, but usually I refresh my memory a little bit, hitting up a few sites, compare what they got to say, make sure I got a superior point of view, and then I present it. Sometimes I put it in a way that it, it seems wrong at first, but then I elaborate on the next video. Anyway, we go back to the, the Bamboo Annals, it's founded the Zia Dynasty. We're talking about 4,200 years ago, etc. And then the dynasty ends around 600 BC at the Battle of Ming Tao. Then we go on to the Shang Dynasty. Now, the Shang Dynasty may have existed at the simultaneously, and they eventually rose to power in about 700 BCE to 1046 BCE. Now, if we understand the Shang Dynasty, and you understand the different factions that existed during that time, okay? And how the, a lot of the sources from the two sets, because it was divided into two sets, two factions. Okay, the sources were the Irliant Gang, the Zheng Zhu, and the Shang Chang. Okay, and then also you had the second set later, and the Shang or Yin. So if you understand how that worked and how in modern day came the Hanan, when we were in the um, Anyang period. So we go on. There was 31 kings in the Shang Dynasty, <sighs> from Tang of Shang to King Zhu of Shang. And there's there's quite a bit of records because they had many historians that lived in the era. And um, you know, as I tell you the story, the, the different dynasties are be shining there, and you can kind of read a little bit for yourself. I know it's blurry, but I kind of pointed out earlier what they were. And so, really, when we, the Western scholars are trying to derive what really happened and put it in English for us, some of it may be lost, but you know it, it's okay. So all these competing forces, these sets, these these different dynasties, the Shang and the Zhu, Zhi, excuse me, the Shang and the Zia, and also the Zhu dynasty was um, another one, Z H O U. So when we're talking about um, what comes next, I believe it was the Zhu dynasty, Z H O U, and it's also one of the ancient dynasties. It's from 1046 BCE to 256 BCE. It's important to notice that these dynasties are taking place during the dynasties of Egypt. For example, you have the 25th dynasty around 750 BCE, right? So that's the Nubian dynasty. So the Nubians are in Egypt taken over control from the less black Egyptians during that period that these period people are all the way over here and if you go back to the beginning of the dynasty it's it's just a couple hundred years after Sargon the Zia dynasty 21 BCE and before that you have the cultures that came before the Jiahu culture is before the Sumerians have evidence of being around but we know they're around but before their evidence archaeological evidence of Sumerians we have archaeological evidence the Jiahu culture so the Chinese were over there doing their thing they were not in Egypt doing their thing some people have Asiatic traits yes but were they Asians and were Asians in Egypt and then what then they went to Asia later not in recorded history. 
If you're talking about migrations of Cro-Magnum and Neanderthals, Homo erectus, yes. But if we're talking about modern history, no. Asians were in Asia. Europeans were in European Europe, building Stonehenge. Um, Native Americans were building Woodhenge over there in uh, the Americas. Okay, the Cree in Canada, etc. So we go on to um, the Shang period, and I talked about the sources: the airline Zhang Zhu and Shang Shang. Okay, and I talked about a lot of about the Zhu Dynasty and how the capitals changed to Xi'an and Luoyang, and there's the King of Zhu was an important figure in history, and we go on to the, the then there's the Spring and Autumn period, and then there's the Warring States period, 476 to 221 BC. So th there's chaos. There was order, chaos, reorder, order out of chaos, etc., etc. There was even sets. They were divided into factions and sets. So we go on to the Qin Dynasty, which started in 221 BC during this chaos. They're trying to restore. You know, there's a lot of warring states. They're trying to ha establish their dynasty. And the emperor had. It was a great emperor there for 12 years, and he subdued a lot of the constituents, and he united a lot of the hands. And he made, you know, he wasn't such a bad guy. But then there was burnings of books and the scholars being killed as well. Because he was also a brutal emperor when it came to silencing the opposition. So they were they had their own code. They were after power and they are after silence. The I got about three minutes left. Okay, so then then we go to the terracotta. You see this all like on the History Channel, right? They had the terracotta figures and all this stuff. Okay, we're talking about you know the Han Dynasty and we're talking about the Xin Yang Dynasty and the Qin Shi Huang excuse me, Qin Shi Huang Dynasty, and as we go on through history and Confucius, remember there was the philosophy of Confucianism when it came being embraced by the Han Dynasty. We're talking about two twenty BC, or excuse me, two hundred two BC to two twenty AD. So. When we go to the, the Zing Dynasty, and it has the New Dynasty, and then there's the Eastern Han Dynasty, then they have a they fall apart and they reunite the Han Dynasty. Yeah, the Yellow Turban Rebellion in 184 A.D. etc. So then you have the Wei and Jin period as we go into the A.D. 265 to 420 A.D. There's that 420. You know, sometimes it's coincidence, sometimes it's not. Most of the time it's not. And remember, they have the lunar cycles in the Vietnam War and the Vietnam China War. Remember, these there, there's this is key, man. The, the Japanese colonization of China and and even Bruce Lee touched on that. You got to understand the Yellow River and the Yangtze River. You have to understand the Deep People Rebellion. You have to understand all this stuff to understand where everyone was and to rule them out in any debate at any given time and place. So. Just like the Eastern Han Dynasty, the Eastern Jin Dynasty, and Jin is a word in Islam that means evil, and everything's tied together. Buddhism, Taoism, they're coming together. Confucius was being embraced. It's coming together. It's coming alive. The different religions, the different symbols, the different symbols on the different Asian um, uh, banners. Okay, the different Asians, the the, the 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 parallels between the coat of arms and the and the Asian banners. You got to understand the symbolism that came down for the secret societies and cults that were derived from. Babylon and Egypt and the Silk Road reached Asia as well so what is the connection between the Silk Road and Africa and the stealing of the knowledge well, we're going to have to get to that next one, because we've got to talk about the five dynasties and ten kingdoms in the one minute we have left. So, there were several capitals, as I told you about the shifting capitals, just like you had the shifting capitals in Nigeria from Lagos to Abuja. We go on to the song Leo, Leo Jin, and Western Zia dynasties, 83, 960 to 1234, and they, they had their little fights, and they had the Jurchen Jin dynasty emerging in the province, and it gets rid of their Leo dynasty in about ten years, L-I-A-O. Dynasty in about 10 years, and we go on to the Song Dynasty, and we finally end at the Yuan Dynasty. So I took you from the Five Kingdoms, 80, 907 to 960, and I slammed you through to the Song Dynasty in 1020. Excuse me, I mean to the Yan Dynasty in 1271 to 1368, and we'll end it there. Thank you.